Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of my Emojo. Today we are going to talk about understanding and talking about feelings. Hope all of you have made your Emojos. Everyone has feelings. Feelings are there to help us. They tell us when things are going well and make us feel good like being happy, excited or proud. Feelings also tell us when things aren't going so well and can make us feel angry, sad or worried. It's important to understand how you feel. When you know how you feel, it's easier to overcome the sad sort of feelings. Spend some time alone thinking about how you feel and put it down in your emojo. Try to put a name to that feeling. Are you feeling happy, sad, angry, nervous, worried, confused, scared, excited, jealous, shy, embarrassed, annoyed or surprised? If you are having trouble finding the right word, look up the feelings list that we have provided. Get to know your feelings. Ask yourself questions like, how big is this feeling? Am I feeling little sad or very sad? Where in my body do I feel it? Are my hands sweating? Am I shivering? Are my legs wobbling? What does it make me feel like doing? Do I feel like crying? Or do I feel like sitting all alone? Or do I feel like running away? It's important to get to know your feelings. So, think about what happened to make you feel that way. If you don't know why, that's okay. You can still note it down and also talk about it. You could say something like, I feel sad, but I don't know why. Or, I'm feeling very happy for no particular reason. What made you feel that way? Think about it. Write it down in your emojo with as many details as possible. Try putting how you feel and why into these sentences. I feel sad because I could not go out to play. Or I feel dash when dash happens. Understanding how you feel and why can help you cope and feel better. Don't forget to record. On the third page of your emojo, record how you felt overall during the day. End of the week or month, calculate how often you felt happy, sad, angry, etc. to understand your dominant feeling for the month or week. Now that you are going to try to understand your feelings, next time we will discuss about how to cope with your emotions. Till then, happy writing. Enjoy recording your emotions. Bye-bye.